Hey guys, it's me, Crafty Gamer, and today, as you can see, I am in Bloxburg. And today, I'm gonna kind of mush two building challenges together, and I'm gonna do, um, I have a random budget for the house mixed with, like, uh, one color house challenge. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have two random generators here. I have a um, random number roller and the wheel which will pick which color that we are going to be using for our house. So first we're gonna pick the budget for our house which I really hope is a good budget we can work with. So let's go with three. And I'm gonna give myself two chances. So this first chance is the one I'm doing right now. And if, if the number is ridiculous, then we will roll again. Okay, three, two, one. 50,000 for a house. Okay, if I gamble again, then I can't take this back again. I'm gonna round it to 5,600, um, which I honestly think is a pretty good amount. I think personally we can work with it, but we're going to have to budget. So I'm gonna take this. So we got 50,650. And now for the color of our house, I really wanna get pink, cause you know, I'm so biased for it. And I also did a spin again option for funsies. Oh my gosh, are we actually, we actually got pink. Yes! We have a winner. Okay, so we have 50, pretend that's 50,000, 50,650 for our budget. And our house color will be pink, which I am absolutely stoked for. So let's get into it. It's like a really basic-ish house. That's easy to afford. But like, do you think we can afford a two story? Like we like, mm, I think we can do a very small studio kind of, like apartment sort of thing. So we have 85,000, which means we have around 40,000 left in the budget, which is pretty good. We spent 10,000 on the outside and I haven't even done the rest of this. But you know, we're gonna start with the kitchen first because I feel like that's the most important and we're gonna make the walls. I didn't think of this. Uh, we're gonna use shaker cabinets only because I think we have the budget to. You know, do we? I think we do. If we limit this, I think we will have the budget. Um, the fridge, it's 500 bucks. That's a good chunk out of our budget. Uh, Right. 
And we're gonna need to make another mega one. <laughs> okay, that looks kind of weird. Okay, so I think that's all we can put in here. So let's put some carpet in. Let's use this one, $90. Yeah, we're gonna use it. Okay, let's do our fridge now. This color, it says orange, but technically I'm counting it as pink. And then we're gonna use, what material are we gonna use for the counters? Um, it can't all be seashell. We have to like use other colors. Maybe that one, but like we've been using these colors way too much. It's just these are more of a purple kind of pink. This one's lean, like in between, but it just stands out in the kitchen a little bit too much for my liking. So we're gonna use this color combo. So for the walls, I think we're gonna make them seashell just to break it up a little. It doesn't really look like seashell when you put it with this texture. So I think that's gonna be okay. Spatula like utensils and stuff. Spatula one, spoon. We got spatula two, whisk, and a wooden spoon. Perfect. And then let's put some seashells in here. And there you go, we got the kitchen. Okay, so sorry, it kind of just crashed for a second. So I think I'm gonna accept linen in, um, just so that we can break up a little bit. Okay, so for the dining room, I'm gonna make it fairly small. Cause I mean, if you're living in this small of a house, I don't expect I like I don't think you should expect to get a bunch of guests so we're just gonna get a contemporary dining table and then we're gonna get some chairs to go around it so it would be cute if we got like fold out chairs does that suit the like aesthetic of the place I don't know it could okay first I'm let's yeah let's use the metal version uh, to save money for painting and also because it breaks up like the look and makes it a little bit of like a different color almost. For this, we're gonna color it seashell and then this can be this color. All right, so I think that's gonna be our dining room. We're gonna add some decoration around it, but I think we're gonna do decor later and focus on everything first. Okay, we can get rid of this now. And I think what we're gonna do is we're going to put better stairs. All right, so I just realized our budget. We have around 30,000 more to spend, which actually is still pretty good. I really like these stairs, but they're a heckin' expensive. But I think we can afford it. All right. Ooh, seashell looks really nice in these stairs. All right. Um, we got that. It looked, it looked good with the white, okay? It looked good with the white for a second. Okay, what if we switch it around? Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then we can make this like a pattern like that. Yeah, okay, that, no, 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 no. No! Ah! Oh wait, that doesn't look too bad. But I'm using smooth plastic a little too much. Let's see if we can find a better one. I think we're gonna stick with what we had this just so we save on some money and there we go a much smarter idea to be honest okay the sofa can sit nicely there and then we can have the seat kind of also <clears throat> the seat kind of also separates the areas as well and then we can have a little like um we can have a coffee table in the middle so we can go with like this and we can go with where's the rustic one i think that one will look nice oh but the log one kind of looks the same and it's cheaper so we're gonna use that and place it kind of in the middle and then we can use this rustic console table and we can incorporate the carpets and I'm going to place these colorful string lights across here to give some light and some, like, nice brightness. A shelf. 
I like this shelf a lot. We're going to put that on top and then we can put some like bits and bobs on it. We have $20,000 to finish the upstairs. I'm not entirely sure if that's enough. If I'm going to be completely honest with you guys right now. But you know, we're going to try anyway. It's okay. I'm thinking we have the bed in here so I can put something here so that the window doesn't look out of place. So let's put a cheap bed. This one is good. And then for here, we're going to do like storage. So we're going to get this rustic wardrobe and then we're going to get the El Cheapo. Where is it? Simplicity wardrobe here. Um, and then downstairs we're going to borrow um, a plant, um, a lamp. That looks completely out of place. Let's put it in here. And a shelf. So we plant, lamp, and shelf. The shelf can go in here. Um, I'm not sure what you can have it. Oh my god, I know what. This might take all of my budget. But I'm giving her a teddy bear. Y'all think I'm not giving her the giant one, okay? I'm giving her the small one. And then we're just going to put this painting. And then here... I'm thinking this can be like a cork board. Like that. And then on this side, you can have fairy lights from the new update with Polaroids on them. I think that would be really cute. And then last thing to do is not sneeze, but to get a fan in here. Oh, and also for here. And I cannot forget to add light switches everywhere. Is that gonna light up the whole room? Yes, it does light up the whole room. All right, so this room is basically complete. The last thing I need to do is add the carpet. And I'm gonna actually change the carpet up a little bit. And we're gonna get seashell, but we're gonna use this. Does that look weird? Yes. We need something to break up the pink, but like we just, we can't really do that unless we use this, but that looks kind of funky. So I'm going to use this because it adds some white and this around it. All right. Very nice. I'm really happy with this room. Let's just color all of this. bit of a problem okay it looked good when the base was white but now i have to make this a different color to separate it a little bit doesn't really do much but it does something i think we are doing it okay now all that's left to do is go downstairs put a couple light switches around do some coloring and then we're going to get on to the tour so I will see you guys in the tour when I finish doing all these decals and finish coloring. Okay guys, so I finally finished coloring and everything. Um, it's nighttime at the moment and I also added some outside decoration and I had about $2,000 left to spend. Um, my budget that I was supposed, my maximum that I had to have left was 42484 bucks, and I, and my budget was 50650 so I spent a pretty much a majority of my money, and of course I couldn't do the outdoor patio because I didn't put the bathroom in a very good spot because I literally have no way of entering here, uh, but that's okay. So from the outside, this is what the house looks like. I'm actually pretty happy with this house. I'm 
like it's not the best house i've ever made but with the budget i have i'm very happy with how this turned out so here's the outside um everything's pink and stuff the inside the entryway you have these the slippers the coat hanger stand you have your very small dining room which is probably my least favorite place in the entire house the kitchen is okay I would have loved to use white in this kitchen, but unfortunately I have to use pink, which isn't very unfortunate, but you know, it still looks pretty nice. And here is the living room. Here you just got a simple sofas and couches with your TV and stuff, with fairy lights. And then inside here is the bathroom, which is actually really nice. I do quite like this bathroom. So exiting. We're going up the staircase. I'm in love with this staircase for some reason. I'm not sure why. Upstairs. Okay, it's kind of bright in here. Upstairs, we have a little swinging chair thingy. Teddy bear with some boards and stuff. Here's a little reading nook. For unfortunately, I have to use the ready-made books, which hurts my heart. But we're doing grade 12 math and quantum chronomody dynamics and stuff. So we're, we're learning. Here's my little uh, custom made um, conversation pit, which looks really bad, but for some reason I still quite like it. Like the idea is there, the idea is good. Like I'm doing my best you guys, I'm doing my best. Got a little bench for purely just to be there because I had no idea what to put here. And then in here is an extremely small bathroom, but it's still completely functional. Now on to my favorite room in the house, of course, is the bedroom. This is a really nice bedroom. It's really empty. I feel like I could have put a lot more in here. But with the budget I have and with the big, like, outside, like, here was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So with the budget I have, I think I did really well. So, yeah, that's basically the entire house. It's super small. If you guys want me to do something like this again, or you can comment down another box for a challenge for me to do, definitely tell me in the comments down below. Will I grind for monies? Because I am extremely broke. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!